So in cutting your hair, you're making a statement that you will no longer use dyes, that you will no longer make yourself subject to the use of shampoo, which is the shame of contaminating your water. No longer use shampoo or conditioner to present your hair as nice and soft so that you can catch somebody for your next sexual experience. Now obviously there's a few problems. One of the problems is that one is conditioned that your hair plays a major role in your attractiveness to your potential victim for your sexual indiscretions. Therefore we propose that sexuality becomes an expression of grandeur, orgasmically explosive, based on agreement where one learned to talk face to face, straight to the point, I would like to go into an agreement with you so that we can explore sexuality and all its possibilities. Obviously we submit to you in earnest reason to comprehend that if you dip your dick in different holes you're going to spread disease. So make your agreement specific and don't go around running looking for as many holes possible. A woman don't go and try and find nails that you can hit into your cave of wonders. Because to really develop abilities of expression requires patience, dedication to get to know the complete physical, not just the genitals. The reason why one cannot develop your physicality in sexual expression properly is because you have a round little hole with grey matter on top of your torso that seems to fuck with you with all kinds of bullshit and you can call it hollow wood. It's a very woody area, as hard as wood. If you knock it, you will hear it is as hollow as it can be and the grey matter in there is as grey as anything can be because there is no clear direction. This is the thing between two shell-shaped Fibonacci spiraled devices that are like satellite receivers that pick up noises and interpret it. It's got two holes which is similar to the secret holes in the pyramid of Giza which aligns to the stars in your head where you want to be a superhero. So you want to stop that particular device in all ways possible and actually get real down to the nitty gritty of self-expression and sexuality without pictures. So face world in itself will be on Facebook as well where one can join the group there. The suggestion is when you join and on your profile is to put a photo of you without hair as proof that you are taking part in this chemical warfare of taking on the corporation in the world. It will have a massive effect obviously worldwide eventually in terms of the reduction of deforestation, the, the reduction of killing animals to make all kinds of hair products from their fat, which is where it comes from. It will reduce massively the amount of affluent and chemicals that go into the water table. It will give a breather for earth and the oceans to be able to catch up with all the shit that's already being placed into everything. And all it requires from you is to make a commitment that for the rest of this life you will wear no hair and use no shampoo or conditioner or hair dye and you will meticulously start to look at what it is you're placing into the environment and what is the side effects of it and you will remove the ego 
from the perspective of how you're using it to get sex and start to communicate sex directly. I mean, it's simple. The person's going to say yes or no. It's not personal. It is yes or no. And once you've got the point where it works physically, effectively, then you develop your sexual expression in an agreement. And you have some fun. And at the same time, you care about the environment. It will also have a massive effect in terms of money movement. This, if you go into any major store, you'll notice a, a big part of the store is dedicated to products of hair, plastics, all kinds of weird and wonderful things. And if you start looking at how much you spend time on your hair and how important it is, shaving your hair is going to be a spiritual experience. You're going to experience a release and a relief from all the bullshit that you have attached value to about your hair and how your hair looks like and if it is in place and is the, the little things on your hair that you want there, is it all in place and is everybody noticing your hair and oh my god all about hair, 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 hair. 